guys so I'm here today to do a kind of like video to show you what I got in Ikea um on my last update I told you that I went to Ikea and um it was like one of these kind of like I've got to go now I've got to get everything sorted kind of nesting hauls so I'm just going to show you kind of like what I've been doing in terms of nesting and what I did get and like the kind of update organization getting things ready for the baby so basically what is, what's happened is I don't know if you guys remember the Hensvik unit that I had done all my kind of cloth nappy stash videos I think apart from one and it's the kind of shelving unit that turns into a changing unit um we decided to get rid of that basically it was a big unit taking up a lot of space in a small room we never we've never used it as a changing unit I think we kind of did for a short while but it was kind of more forcing ourselves just for the sake of using it we've always been the kind of people that just change the baby as and when when we are with the changing mat um so it's just not our style I know some people really like to keep everything in like one place and stuff but it just didn't work for us so we did use it for cloth nappy storage on the top shelf and then toys at the bottom but it was a you could we could store things those things in a much smaller compact way without that unit so we decided to sell it and with the money that I sold it for I this this is the is it the rock um raskoff unit from ikea and if you are in the uk i got this from birmingham so if you're in the uk and you have a family card an ikea family card well they make this do this internationally they are offering quite a bit off so it was uh it's 50 pound new which is really expensive uh reduced to 30 pounds and I've been on Pinterest and seen the amount of stuff, things that you can use this for, makeup, storage, craft storage, like just so much. So I just, I'm obsessed with this. Um, I think it's going to be just one of those things I'm going to use forever for like, I don't know, makeup or craft stuff. I, I, I don't know. I might have to get two. Um, one for me and one for the kids. I don't know. I just love it. So I'm just going to show you quickly what what we've been basically storing so i'll start at the top and work my way down to the bottom so um i have visions of me sitting in this rocking chair nursing with this kind of next to me but to be fair i don't think we're going to keep this upstairs i think we're going to keep this downstairs and over on the side table i'm going to have like a basket with kind of nappies breast pump breast pads that kind of like things i need to grab to hand for the newborn while i'm in bed um, and the rest of this will probably live downstairs for the most part of the time, I expect. So at the top here, I'm going to keep, this is just breast pump shield, um, breast pumps on its way. I'm probably going to keep breast pump, maybe like a bottle of water and some snacks and stuff um, in there just to kind of grab to hand. In this little box, I've got these mam compress pads and I will keep probably breast pads in there. Um, I've got these snappies as well for the nappies. Um, I've got some of Sebastian's old dummies. These are actually in really good condition. They're like practically new, so I'm just going to scrub them down and sterilise them rather than buy new because they are really expensive and I've got loads. Uh, I've got this clip from um, the Suckle Store um, on Facebook, which is where I got my bra conversion clips. And this is what's called a confidence clasp, and you can like clip it to your clothes to like hold up your shirt if you're doing one up, one down, or clip a muslin around your neck or something. Um, so yeah, that's really, really handy for if you're out and about and want to breastfeed discreetly. Uh, here I've got some of these for, uh, from, free from like the bounty pack disposable nappies. I expect Chris would be grabbing the disposables because he's not a fan of the prefolds yet it's pretty much all prefolds that I have for a newborn and these are just prefolds to hand that I can just quickly grab and a kisser loves uh, all in fitted and a bum genius fitted and in there I'll be keeping the cloth wipes and I'll probably have a hanging wet bag on the side so in this next drawer is all our fitteds these are diddy diaper fitteds with a fleece liner in some bamboozles top spots bamboozles one pocket nappy that is dead cute but it does leak so i'll probably need a wrap on top of it um and two top spots easy fits that don't, they never worked for sebastian but i kept them anyway just in case they work this time um some more prefolds and all our wraps so oh, i'm out of breath pregnancy is making me really out of breath already um so down here is where i'm going to keep the newborn disposables and i'm probably going to get some of the natty baby biodegradable disposables to put in there because we probably won't be using them that often it'll be mainly chris that'll probably pull them out and use them before i used to be really like frustrated about that but actually i'm totally cool with it if he wants to use disposables that's fine provided he uses the natty baby ones um 
So here's some uh, fleece, li uh, fleece liners, which were just kind of there for spare. Some flushable liners. We won't be using these um, at all with a newborn. They're just kind of stored there. I, I might even sell them, to be fair. Um, and then along here is Sebastian's side. So Sebastian, we've stored away his cloth nappies now because, because we are trying to potter train. So these are pull-ups. We are trying to potter train him. And we've been a bit slack but we do need to like push and try and like keep it up kind of thing and also I just find changing cloth on a two over two year old now nearly two and a half year old really difficult it's difficult to get them to lie down to keep still and of course we were using prefolds quite a lot um so it's just easier for him to pull up his pants put, pull them up and down take them off himself he kind of enjoys it I give him a wipe and he does it himself he wipes himself unless he's done a poo of course then of course we have to lie him down so he is in disposables at the moment when he's out and about and then when we're at home we're trying to use these um training pants and these are by bright bots um they've got like a bit of pol in them and a bit of absorbency but not much and this one is a bambino mio i think yeah bambino mio so we've got some of these which we do use at home and he's still practicing with those eventually he will go into those once we've established potter training, I think we will probably go into those for a bit. Um, here's a natty baby and then the rest of Boots pull-ups. Um, I need to order some more nappy, some more natty baby ones. So that's pretty much what we're doing with Sebastian at the moment. And that is that little unit. Like I said, I think while the baby's very little and I'm spending a lot of time down on the sofa, it will probably live up here, um, up here downstairs. And then at night time, I will probably just get like a, like make, I don't know find some kind of drawer or something that kind of come out of there or a basket or something so that I can keep everything to hand kind of there so moving into Sebastian's room or the baby's room this room as you know is very dark because I have gorilla taped a grow blind behind the blackout blind because Sebastian is so incredibly sensitive to light that this room and I can't take it up and down each day so this room pretty much just stays in darkness which if anyone's got any solutions to that please let me know um like I said Sebastian's very sensitive to light but without the, the duct tape light creeps around the sides and I don't know I don't know maybe when we move we'll find some other alternative ways but so far that's the only thing that's kind of kept all the light out so as you can see I've set up the cot here um got some more pull-ups there um I've set up the cot here this cot was um sold to us by a friend it's the Gulliver cot from Ikea I really like it I wish I got this for Sebastian the first time around I wish I never bothered with a cot bed but that's just the way it is this can actually be used as a cot bed if you take the side off for a short while um and then you can just go straight away and buy them like a big big boy bed and save yourself a lot of money but I went and spent on oh, no, a cot bed big regrets but there you go I um as you saw in my other haul I got this and I've put all the apart from the bucket all the baby baby toys in there that's where they're going to be stored and I'll probably um get a small little like a very little basket and just keep the very soft toys you know when they're really little really tiny and then as they get bigger I'll bring the whole basket down so that they can climb in and grab the toys and I've just kept the play mat there and uh, I think I might have shown you Sebastian's TP. I'm not sure if I have but this is a TP from um, Hobbycraft and it's actually really massive but the great thing is is you can bunch up the sticks there's two sticks here to kind of make it fit into a sort of just a certain area and you can decorate it yourself so we started painting some dots on the side I'm going to make some bunting to go on it um but uh, I haven't finished it yet so I will get around to hopefully I'll get around to that at some point and in Ikea I got one of these faux um I was going to get the real one but they are really expensive um a faux sheepskin uh, thing and I've always wanted that cloud pillow I think I got that for me really just because I like it it's dead cute um like a really comfy pillow so he can sit here and read his books and uh we have up there his bed's not made sorry this is how sensitive to light he is this is the grow clock and i have to have it facing almost flush to this mickey mouse otherwise even though it's on the dimmest dimmest setting it still will wake him up so by doing that he can just kind of see the light and he will i, I get him to check it so he can check to see if it's yellow or blue um but uh we're still practicing with that he's doing quite well with it but he's still practicing and when it is um blue still uh, i send him back and i say you either go to bed or you turn on your little lights and you sit in your teepee and you read your books and he'll stay here until the light turns 
yellow so that's kind of what we do um, and it's so far it has worked pretty well some of these under cot storage or under bed storage they're really good because they're like canvasy they fold so in there i keep all the kind of cloth nappies that are the next stage like the size two nappies and then in there i keep sebastian toys that we're kind of rotating around um duplo blocks and things like that that he's just not playing with so much and that he like smaller toys that we that we can just easily store there and we just rotate them so that's pretty much it for everything that I bought in Ikea. I have got a shelving unit out here. So I'm sorry about all the mess. I'm doing all the washing. Here's a shelving unit that I bought, um, which we're going to put up. And I'm going to put his like baby box in here. It's his his first shoes. Look, that's so cute. His first shoes and like his first lock of hair and stuff. And this is his baby box. I'm going to do one for them each and I'm going to keep just store it up there as well as medication and stuff. And this basket will be the basket we keep the very soft baby toys in when the baby's very, very little. Um, just downstairs uh, just to keep it out of the way. So that's pretty much it. Um, I did move the room around as well. As you probably noticed, I used to have that unit over there and I've switched it around. Um, so it kind of gives a different background when I'm filming. So that's it. I'll let you guys go. See you guys soon. Please like and subscribe and yeah, see you guys soon. Bye.